I started my NFL career in Tennessee and played my last snap in New England, so I have a unique perspective on this matchup. When you look at these two teams and the strategy that will be employed by both on Saturday night, the team mottos, tighten up and do your job, are the first thing that come to mind. But if the Titans play in the top of one of the greatest dynasties in NFL history, they'll need to tighten up on and off the field. Now the Titans will arrive at their hotel on Friday, go through their final walkthrough, have dinner, and then hit the sack to ensure they're well rested for the game. And as it happened to me when I played against the Pats in 2004 and several teams after me, the fire alarm in the hotel will go off at 3 a.m., forcing the players to exit the hotel, wait outside until it's clear by the authorities. It will be cold, the players will know that the alarm is BS, and they'll have to evacuate with alarms blaring for nearly an hour while the Pats sleep blissfully before the teams face each other in their first playoff matchup since that 2004 game. Yes, it sucks, but it is what it is. Then after a sleepless night, the Titans will have to deal with the New England weather. Now fortunately for the Titans, they won't have to play in the frigid tents we endured in our playoff game when it was negative 18 degrees with the wind chill, but the weather will be an issue. Now during our playoff battle, the mouthpieces would freeze between series and your body just doesn't move the same when it's that damn cold. But whatever the weather may be on Saturday night, the Titans will have to overcome if they want to advance to the next round. It just is what it is. Now besides the elements, you have to be the team that's been trained to just do their job and they do it exceptionally well. Bill Belichick understands the strength of the Titans offense is the run game, so he'll stack the box to suffocate Derrick Henry and the Titans run game. He'll place a spot on Mariota in the pass game and find ways to take away Delaney Walker so that Mariota will have to navigate the pressure while his favorite target is taken away from him. The Titans defense is charged with stopping the most successful quarterback in NFL playoff history. They're stingy against the run, but have given up the fifth most passing touchdowns in a regular season. And expect Tommy Boy in the past to exploit that deficiency to the fullest. Don't be surprised if the Pats come out in empty formations with a high tempo offense to attack the Titans with a quick pass game, wear them out, and then employ the run game to finish them off. So there it is, the stage is set. The Titans will not only need to overcome the best head coach and quarterback to do it in the playoffs, but also navigate fire alarms in the middle of the night and weather that rivals a scene from Game of Thrones with a young team who are only playing their second playoff game since 2008. Now, if Tennessee is going to pull off the impossible in Foxborough, they'll need to tighten up and do their job against one of the most prepared teams they'll ever face. But if you want to be the best, you have to beat the best and overcome all the obstacles that will arise. It just is what it is.